tarot love this reading will be for libra for september 5th to september 12th this will not resonate with everyone please take what resonates with you and leave the rest um you will receive the message when you are um, supposed to receive it um if there's an extended the link will be in the description box below along with information about personal readings which i highly recommend if anything resonates with you today okay let's get into the reading for libra what messages for libra for this week forgiveness in the background here we have listening with study and emerging okay so um, this could very well go for Libras that are doing something in regards to education right now um, and if you are that Libra out there then please just continue to go towards your goals here because with emerging I feel like whatever it is that you are learning right now the information that you're receiving um, you know however you're developing yourself right now it's helping you to come into yourself so whatever you're doing right now is something that you're supposed to be doing and it's helping you to come more into yourself but also listen here so pay attention to any messages that you might be receiving and by messages I just mean anything that you know in your dreams or um, anything that keeps popping up in the day anything that might seem a little coincidental you have to pay attention to those things okay um, and that's what I'm getting so with forgiveness in the background I think also if you are trying to grow in any aspect of your life, whether it is education or spiritual, um, there's there's forgiveness that has to be done, whether it's for yourself or for other people in your life. So just um, think about that as well. Okay, clarify, yeah. So I'm really feeling that message for any Libra. Please pay attention to your dreams and stuff like that or any coincidences which is funny because um i got up this morning and i had a dream and my boyfriend had a dream and they were pointing to the same thing and it's like oh that's crazy so little things like that um just pay attention i am a libra okay so what messages do we have for Libra? What messages for Libra? What messages for Libra for this week? really good because as I was saying earlier with the oracle cards emerging and study and um, listening it's like you're coming more into yourself and we have justice in the present moment so that um, reiterates that clarify the emperor clarify the emperor clarify the emperor okay clarify justice 
Okay. Too many cards. Too many cards. Cards are just this. We have the Queen of Cups in the background with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like a lot of you um, might be feeling really good. Like with the Ten of Wands right after that, it's like you're coming out of a situation that left you feeling down and feeling depressed in your home life. But right now, I feel like you guys are in a good place emotionally. Like you're feeling good, which is always good. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Um, in the past, we have the Emperor. So, we also have the Page of Cups with the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So, I feel like there was a situation that happened, um, and it was something that was surprising to you. Um, so this could definitely be about love or it could be about something else that came in, a new love in your life. You know, it could be um, just something that you were passionate about, um, something that you were attracted to or someone that you were attracted to. And there was um, collaboration. So in comes this thing. It's surprising. Um, you're like, okay, I'm going to work with this. And you were the king of wands here. So this, you could have dealt with the fire sign, but also, um, it's like this situation made you feel not only were you attracted to the situation, but the situation made you feel attractive and passionate and getting into your creative zone and, and getting into you and what excites you and makes you happy okay but i feel like you were a little too stern about the situation because even though it's something that came in and you had a lot of love something or someone that came in you had a lot of love for it a lot of passion a lot of attraction um i feel like you were kind of a little stern about it let me inquire for the emperor. Clarify the emperor. The seven of swords with the ten of wands. So the, th the thing that came in here, it's like, even though it was surprising and it was something that you were attracted to or someone and, and passionate you you felt like there was something deceptive here like you didn't know what to believe and you felt like there was secrets here and so you carried that and that's what like stressed you stressed you out about the situation So it's either like, you know, someone plays hard to get or whatever, but it's like you took this situation very seriously when it was something playful and fun and exciting, but you were a little cautious about it. You were cautious about it. You didn't know what to expect. You felt like either this, I'm going to say this person because there's King of Wands here. So even though you were attracted and, and everything felt right, you were cautious because in the back of your mind, it was like, okay, what is this person hiding or what's going on here? And you carry that weight of that. Okay, 
So in the present moment, we have justice. With the five of wands, two of wands, and nine of cups. So I feel like whatever that situation was in the past, now something is, is coming clear to you. It's like now you're understanding a little bit more about yourself and the situation and what happened. Um, because I'm seeing here that you struggled a lot. Like there was a lot of, of, of conflict and waiting for emotional fulfillment. So either this person, um, you had conflict with this person and that turned into you guys not speaking and then it was like, okay, now I'm just waiting to feel good again, either about the situation or just overall. And I feel like you guys are feeling good again right now, but it was after all of this. It was after all of this. So you guys are coming back into yourself now, coming back into balance, but this situation came with a lot. It came with a lot. And it might have just been that this person ghosted you, ignored you, left you out in the cold. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. Oh. Yeah. We have the moon with the five of swords and the ten of swords. So, as I said before, you felt like this person was hiding something and that stressed you out. But this person also betrayed you and, and it's like something else. There's something else to it, though, that you don't know. Even now, you're feeling like there's still something to it. So, even though this person did something to betray you and make you feel hurt and all of this you still don't have any clarity about the situation but now it's like you're coming into balance and getting back into yourself okay let's see we have the eight of swords over here but with the ace of cups the hierophant and the nine of cups um so wow okay so even though you have been feeling good and it's like presently it's like you've been moving forward and, and getting out of that situation and how it's made you feel it, it still keeps coming up and it's still on your mind and it's still stressing you out and you feel like it's something that you can't get rid of you feel like it's something that you can't get rid of But I'm seeing here that you will follow your emotions here and go with how you feel. And you'll be learning a lesson. It's like, even though you're feeling stuck, you're realizing that this is teaching you something about love as well. We have a third party. Three of Cups with the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Which is a weird combination because it's like... A third party situation, but there's some type of happy ending here. But that could just be it. You know, it could be a third party situation. There's an ending that's happy. <clears throat> But it's like you've been feeling stuck in your head because of this person that came in. Um, and it's like, even though you knew what was right, even though, okay. So it's like, even though you knew the right thing to do here with the Hierophant, once this Page of Cups came in, even though you knew the right thing to do, you just followed your emotion followed your emotion and you you're you were seeking and you're still seeking some type of emotional fulfillment from this situation which could be a third-party situation 
or it's like you just want a happy ending here. Okay, I'm going to go into the extended to clarify some things here that are not clear right now, Libra. So please join me in the extended if anything is resonating with you. Thank you so much. <laughs>